Thank you very much, Eric. Well, in honor of the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, the Louisiana SPCA is remembering the tens of thousands of animals affected by that storm. And this morning, Destiny Hammond is in to uh, talk to us about the Collar Project and how you can help. But first of all, we need to introduce Nixie. Destiny, tell us a little bit about Nixie here. Um, Nixie is a one-year-old Maltese mix. Um, she's super affectionate. She's been running through the studio all morning, getting loves and mm -hmm. kisses from everyone. Yes, yeah, she do, she wants attention. So she is looking for a home of her own, and uh, so she'd be someone who has a lot of energy and some space for for Nixie to run around. Exactly. She's gonna want someone with lots of time that can you know spend time with her. Mm -hmm. But uh, we would recommend that the family have children over 10 years old. Okay. Well, Nixie is adorable, and and as we are keeping Nixie uh, company here, we want to talk about. Something that happened during Katrina, uh, people with pets will remember uh, many uh, many people had to leave their pets behind, right. and unfortunately their pets perished. How many how many dogs and cats uh, pets fa uh, died during Katrina? Well, we estimate that between 50 and 70 thousand pets lost their lives throughout the Gulf Coast in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. And you want to. Uh, allow the the pet owners and the community to pay tribute to this this loss and and how are you how are you mem memorializing this right if you have a pet that you lost or if you just want to honor any of the animals that were impacted by Hurricane Katrina you can take part in our community art display mm -hmm. we have a section of a fence that's at our location at 1700 Mardi Gras Boulevard and you can make a ten dollar donation and hang a leash on on this fence to honor those animals impacted and how will the money be used after our grand opening, all of the funds that we were able to raise will go towards microchipping pets in need in the city. So if they are ever separated in something like a disaster, it'll be that much easier for us to reunite those pets. Yes, and, and you know, as we we're looking at little Nixie here, is so precious. What do you suggest to pet owners? How should they prepare their pets this hurricane season? You know, don't wait until it's too late. Get an evacuation kit started as soon as possible you know we have on on our website we have a list of some suggested mm -hmm. tools and things that you should have ready just in case of a disaster you know it's better to be ready sooner rather than mm -hmm. later and and uh, when can people purchase the the collars when are they going to be available um, they're available now we started on the first you can go online to purchase or mm -hmm. you can come up to the shelter but if you'd like to go online it's www.la-sbca.org slash collar and that's a way to show your love to the pets like uh, Nixie so that they can be microchipped and and uh, and hopefully everyone will have a very safe hurricane season. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you. And to participate in the Collar Project, as uh, as Destiny said, all you need to do is donate $10 and you can stop by the SPCA on Mardi Gras Boulevard during business hours or log on to www.tv.com and click on 